Angela's Busy Bees and Garden Homestead. If you think this channel name is a lot to hold on to, just check out Angela's Homestead. And this is Angela with Angela's Busy Bees Garden and Homestead. Um, cutting here from my um, Meyer lemon tree. Um, it accidentally broke off when I was transporting it into the greenhouse. And so I'm just going to snip just a little bit more off of here this is all an experiment angela isn't just into growing citrus trees over in tennessee my lavender and i allowed it to dry um, in this basket here you're going to um, strain the oil with cheesecloth you can um, store your oil in a dark and dry place in which i'll be using one of my closets from making herbal and homeopathic products from the garden to just making food angela really is a busy I bee i feel peas because there are so many different um, health benefits of them, um, but I also grow them because as a child, uh, my grandparents uh, grew a lot of field peas. And, and that balcony garden is just so it welcoming. It out on my balcony and it appears that either it rained early this morning or it rained last night. See, this is a pattern um, that was available this spring at the Dollar Tree and uh, I purchased a table setting uh, for three. The garden beds are a lot of work. Numbering my beds have really helped me um, to keep up with what I grew and where I grew it. And who can forget all the chickens? <laughs> There's even a garden just for them. If you're into greenhouses and market gardens, egg production, or you just want to see what somebody else does with their garden and its harvest, be sure to check out Angela's Busy Bees and Garden Homestead. Average Joe PT. Most people don't think of seeing a physical therapist as part of an overall wellness plan. When I talk about synovial fluid in the spine, you have synovial fluid uh, within the joints. And so they help keep things nourished and lubricated in there. And I always say is lo uh, motion is lotion. It's <laughs> that nice rhythmic motion. Average Joe PT uploads a wealth of YouTube videos and even live streams um, to answer any physical therapy or physical function or even some injury We're questions. We're going to this episode why you're probably having it and treatment techniques. If you're dehydrated from maybe having a good time before or maybe just worked out in the yard too much and come inside and you're getting a headache, you want to drink that and then maybe follow up with maybe 12 to uh, 24 ounces of water afterward. Whether it's a tension headache, or whether it's from blood pressure, or whether it's just from, oh my heavens, stress, uh, didn't sleep good, dehydration, whatever it will be, I'm gonna give you three treatment techniques that you can do at home. Joe and Scully will headache. even answer questions either in the comments or in live streams, even if your question is less injury related and just more movement related. And sometimes that means creating an entire video to answer your question. And he's doing Average it. Average Joe free. Horror Stories number eight. Pretty soon I'm not going to have enough fingers. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and uh, leave a comment. My favorite Average Joe PT videos are injury prehabs, which basically helps prevent future injuries and some that may help this you avoid episode, surgery. We're going to talk about how you tell the difference between snapping hip and just good old-fashioned arthritis. Never show walk number 1,375,000. <laughs> it's almost like having your very own personal physical therapist assigned to you. So if you ever have movement or physical therapy questions, it's good to know an average Joe PT. Minimal Mindful Mama. Do you just have too much stuff? Wondering how to calm the chaos surrounding your mind or being nurtured in your home? 
Minimalist, intentional living is just a click away. Minimal Mindful Mama. I'm Katie Mixon, and if you're new here, I make videos that help busy moms to simplify, organize, and declutter their lives so that you can live the life that you want to instead of having to be cleaning and organizing all the time. She got right to the point, didn't she? <laughs> she doesn't have a lot of time because she doesn't want to waste it. <laughs> Some of y'all will get that one later. <laughs> If you still have Easter decorations out, now is a great time to go through those and either declutter ones that you don't anticipate using again next year or to pack them away for the summer season. It's not all hard work to live a minimalist lifestyle. Ready to clean up your act? Hey, even if you're not, it's a lot of fun to watch others do all the work. So check out Minimal Mindful Mama. Suburban homesteading, bringing sensible physical therapy tips to the average Joe. Minimalist, intentional, and slow living. Are these your people?